Hey, this is great with a fresh word for you for today. Uh, this is just a word of encouragement just to tell you, you know what, if you're in a situation, in a place where you feel stuck and you can't move and you think like everything, nothing's going anywhere, I just want to encourage you that if you keep looking to God, he will come through for you. He will come through for you in the same way he came through for the Israelites. They were in Egypt for 400 years, but God came through. They were in there and they completely gave up hope of ever being free, but God came through. And in an instant, just like that, they were free people. Even after that, they got stuck at the Red Sea where they couldn't cross and the Egyptian army was coming to them. They also thought, this is worse than what we had. And they actually said, this is worse than what we had. It was better we were in Egypt. At least we were alive. Here we're going to be killed. But God came through for them and i just want to say this that while you're there and you're thinking there's no way for me to go i can't go on anymore can i just encourage you to look behind and see what god has done for you in the past usually when you need a problem we always think that this is the biggest problem that i've ever seen i can't get through it but once you get past it that problem is always small and insignificant. Why? Because you've overcome it. That's the same problem the Israelites had. When they had the Red Sea, they thought that was the biggest problem ever. And then looking back and looking at the slavery for 400 years, they thought that was better. And that's what we tend to do. What I'm trying to say to you is, if you look back and see what God has done for you in the past, you will realize that what you're looking ahead of you it's something insignificant and small in the eyes of God and that God will be able to take you past that but only only if you continue to believe and trust in him and that's that's where we are that's where the problem is because sometimes we tend to lose faith but do not lose faith if Jesus in I think if Jesus, I think it was Luke 7 or something like that, I can't remember. If Jesus saw a woman whose son had died and had compassion for her and went and raised her child up, the woman never asked, but Jesus did it for her. How much more you who keep asking, who keep believing in him, he will come through for you. And if you're listening to this and you've never given your life to Christ, I just want to say this is an opportunity for you to give your life to Christ and to come into this family where you know whatever happens to you, whatever happens to you, God's got your back. I like this, John 6 and 37, and it says that all those the Father gives me, that was Jesus talking, all those the Father gives me will come to me. This is the part I like. And whoever comes to me, I will never drive away. Jesus never drives away anybody. Romans 10 and 11 say something similar as well. Like scripture says, anyone who believes in me will never be put to shame. Whatever you're going through, trust in God and look to him. Don't look at your problem, but look in your past and see how God has taken you through to get you where you are. And then you will realize that this too shall pass. This part here, it will pass away because God is faithful and God is true and he has never failed and he never denies anybody if they come to him. God bless you.